one and only, the marvelous one. This is the Michael versus the Marvelous podcast, episode eighty-seven. Uh, I name it some other time. Well, we all know this is a live podcast, and I'm also doing a live video. So, if you listen to the podcast, probably if today's is Wednesday, you'll probably see it on Thursday or Friday, depending on whenever I decide to put it out. So, like I said, uh, I've been saying that I was putting out the. Uh, the podcast and doing all that so like I said man this is fun I'm having fun doing this I'm liking that people is liking it but like I've said before several times before you're gonna see tonight's episode the first time you're gonna see Michael and Marvelous go against each other it's because I'm gonna talk about some things and I'm gonna give how Michael feel about it and I'm gonna give how Marvelous feel about it because if you can read in the description below, I'll tell you about the story, about how the podcast. If you're looking for a normal, normal, typical podcast and video podcast, then you're coming to the wrong place because I'm not going to do all that. But if you're new to the channel, if you can do me a big favor and hit that bell button, hit that subscribe button. See, I did it different. Hit the bell button so you can get the notifications. Then you hit the subscribe button. Then you can know you get everything I put out. From the Michael and the Marvelous podcast, still LOF film. That's that's like I said before. I'm always telling that is the brand. Everything else is just under the umbrella and things like that. Uh, uh, I said I was gonna probably read some emails, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about my new website and my new Patreon, and I'm gonna touch on that. Then I recap. Then I talk about my new segment that I, that you guys will be seeing and hearing on the podcast. <clears throat> Then I'm going to talk sports talk and Game of Thrones talk, and then I'm going to wrap it up with uh, whatever I kind of want to touch on for the for the podcast. I mean, like I said, this is the Marco versus Marvelous podcast, and uh, yeah, that's it. Um, so, the Patreon and the website, I got that. I said I was going to have all that today, but I've been working on some other stuff, so I have to like, I still got it. It's almost done. But I'm gonna talk about the things, about the memberships that I got out. Cause this is the last the last week that all my content will be free for you can listen to. After that, you won't be able to listen to it unless you uh in my membership. Uh like I said in uh Nothing is Free, episode 86, which I'm gonna recap on that, is that I've been given out so much free content and so much dope content, and I said I know so many people. To only have the many subscribers that I have. And that, like, so I'd be on a Michael tip. So Michael would be like, oh, it's fine. It's, I understand everyone has, like, got lives and everyone hasn't got around to it. Marvelous is like, man, fuck all that. Like, it's it's easy to, like, everyone's on YouTube. Everyone's on their phone. Everyone see, like, everybody see you posting what you're posting. It's not like, I'm I'm doing it and I'm not like 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 people not saying it like it's 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 out there. I'm making it <clears throat> excuse me. I'm making it clear as day to what I'm doing. Like everything that I do is crystal clear. Like I was telling someone, everything that I do has a meaning. If you look closely into my logos and stuff like that, it all ties into me and where I'm from and how I believe. Like man, I'm getting a little I'm getting a little little perky, man. Like uh, so. Mm. I was doing too damn much talking, man. I'd be losing my voice. <clears throat> so I was saying, like, like I know so many, so many people that I shouldn't be, excuse me, having to beg people to subscribe to me, beg people to support me because you can clearly see what I'm doing. Like I'm not up here. If I knew what I was doing was whack as hell, let me be honest with y'all. Let me be honest with y'all in the podcast community, the people that's listening. Let me be. Let me be honest to the people that's seeing my face. I'm never going to do shit if I think it's weak. I'm not going to get up here and waste y'all time or waste my time doing something that I think is weak. Like, that's just not going to happen. That's not how I get down. My family will tell you, if I'm not doing it with the with the substance to be, a, to be great, then I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to get up here and put my face on the camera. And I'm definitely not going to waste my time talking on about something that I don't even believe in. You feel what I'm saying? Like... Everything I do is I believe in it. So like when I sit back and I think this is marvelous talking by the way, I just sit back and think like it's bullshit. Like people see what I'm posting. I make it clear. I always say where to go subscribe at, where to go listen at, like, nah, like, but I'm not gonna stop. 
I'm not gonna stop because like I said, when you call people out on their shit and tell people, hey, y'all all claim to fuck with me and rock with me, but I'm not seeing it. Let's do it. Like, don't sit and don't sit and try to like watch me. Like, that's that's why I'm 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 closing everything, is because people sit and just watch. I ain't no it ain't free to just watch what I'm doing. Like, no. Like, I don't wanna do that no more. I'm giving everybody the opportunity to pick and choose when they want to support me and when they want to rock with me. Nah, locking the podcast up, and eventually, I mean, I can't lock up because it's YouTube. You can still see the videos. That's cool. But as far as, like, my content and what I'm doing, nah, you ain't going to be able to go listen and go see what I'm doing. Because if you look close attention, when I can close, close attention, when I promote my videos, you never hear what I'm saying. Because if I let you hear what I'm what I'm saying, then you you know what's going on. So I put some music, I silence it, let you see my hand gestures, let you see me moving around, let you see that stuff. Because then that gives people, okay, what is he really talking about? Because I know a lot of people do go just look and won't subscribe. And that's fine too, but I mean, just to be nosy. But when I figure all that out with my Patreon, I'm trust me, I'm going to get all that down. And like everything's going to always be on my Patreon and on my website. So like I said, the, so I'm going to go off some of the tiers. I know I was babbling, but it's cool. It is what it is. So for the tier one, it would be five of, $5 a month, and you get all the podcasts. You get you get all I respond to your emails. You get when I put my merchandise, you get 10% off of all my merchandise. That's, that's, that's LOFM. That's Team LOFM. Team Marvelous is $7. That's Team Marvelous. That's $7. That gets you 20% off of when I start putting my merchandise and that gives you all the content, every content, all the videos, all the secrets, the secret drops when I drop secret podcasts. Everybody that's in my tiers, that's from LOFM, this is the $5 one, the Marvelous Team, which is a set, was a seven, you get everything. Everything that I do for a tier, for, for tier, for tier one is still some things I kind of like, I take off, but, but when you hit the, the, the next two, you get, you get, I'll read off all your emails. I'll, I'll give you, I'll counsel you if you need help or anything, relationship wise. I, I touch on that with you. Uh, what else I have going on? Um, get the secret drops. So, whenever I drop the secret podcast, it'll only be exclusively for my members. The, the outside world won't know. Only people, because I'll get everyone email that's, that's part of the membership. I see out the email, like, yo, you are getting a podcast. You are getting. This part. So the people that's in my membership, I'm going to drop, I'm, this is the first time I said, I'm going to drop sometimes four podcasts in a week for the people that said, the, the three that I said I'm going to drop, then I'm going to drop a, no, five, I'm sorry, I'm going to drop five. So when to everybody that's in each each membership, you get five podcasts throughout the, throughout the week. And this is a monthly thing. It's not just no, oh, do I got to do it every week? No, once you, once you sign up for the membership, it's every month. You get everything, everything that I do, the uh, the documentary that I got coming out, everything that I'll be doing will be exclusively on my Patreon and my Marvelous Network. But I still be putting them, putting the podcast. I don't think I'll be putting them out for the public just yet. I'm still in the, I'm still in a limbo with that. But um, so Michael, which is the the, the team Michael, which is the last one. Uh, that one would be uh. That one would be uh, coming um, the third one. That'll be the third one. Uh, that's the third one. That's ten. That's ten. So that one has a whole bunch of stuff. I'm still not done yet. That's what I'm saying. I'm still in a in a process of, of figuring all this stuff out and how to do it. That's why I don't really want to give y'all. So I'm just giving y'all a little rough draft and a little rough copy of it to let y'all know what's going on and stuff like that. And as far as that, we got that out the way. So recap. So I'm gonna recap on. My podcast that I did is Nothing Is For Free. Nothing Is For Free. That one came about because all I was doing is leading up to this. So this Wednesday, I'm not dropping a podcast Friday. I'm just going to drop a bunch of videos uh, because, like I said, this is the last week that I'm putting out free content and that people can get the content from me and stuff like that. Because after that, it's, it goes, I'm locking everything in focusing on like my brand and stuff like that a lot of people are like oh it's kind of bittersweet like I, I, I appreciate all the people that that's actually is supporting me that actually is out there rocking with me and making sure that uh, I get to where I need to be 
it's not fair for me to lock up everything and take everything away from them but at the end of the day i gotta i gotta do what's right for me because i know my worth like that's what people don't understand i know my worth i know i've been giving y'all great content i know i've been doing great shows for y'all and it's like i don't i don't think it's a great idea for me to just be doing that so I want to make sure people know my worth and what I'm putting out is great. And if you support it, rock with it. Uh, and that was, that was kind of what that was about. And then I kind of touched on things like when I like I touched on toxic people. I touched I just touched on what was episode 85 about. You know what I'm saying? When I, I like what I'm doing now is how I'm recapping the episodes, talking about what I'm doing. I'm actually going and listen to the podcast. I'm actually watching the videos. I'm actually being more of a, of a fan of my own work instead of watching something <clears throat> excuse me instead of watching it, and the first thing I start to do is start critiquing myself like oh well Marv you should have did this oh you should have did it that way you should have did that no I don't need to critique myself like I need to go in and listen as a fan watch as a fan and be like okay you did good bro and there's some things that I need to I need to pick up on and work on yeah that's a that's for a different day but I need to start appreciate my work and my content and what I'm doing as a fan so that's what I'm doing moving forward so um what else I, I'm a, so yeah I got a new segment coming up that it'll be some videos and I'll also be doing it on a podcast it's new week new goals and what I mean by that is that you know it's a new week so if every week we should set new goals for ourselves that's for everybody motivate yourself push yourself like me I set new goals for myself every day but now I said with the segment, so it's a new week, new goals. So every time what I want people to do, if you rock with the podcast, if you rock with rock with me, if you're part of the Marvel Squad, whatever the case may be, every week I want you to hit me up if it's via my email, which the description is in the below, which uh, you guys already know it's marvelousmyers1 at gmail.com. I want y'all to start shooting me y'all new weeks, y'all new goals, and I'm gonna re I'm gonna read them off. I won't, if you don't want me to say your name, I won't say your name. I won't put you out there, whatever the case may be. But I want to start seeing how people view their goals. Like, okay, so it's a new week. My new goal is to, to clean out my car. My new week goal is to take out the trash. My new week goal is to take my, do a self-care day with myself. Take myself out to eat. Do something nice. Do something nice for my kids. Do something nice for my significant other. Just set goals. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I look at it, things, man. It's like, we got to start setting goals. We got to start dreaming big. Just don't be complacent and just stay in one spot. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, I do have a video that I'm going to drop tonight explaining that. Like, So be on the lookout for that on my YouTube, which is The Marvelous One. Uh, I'm dropping a video on that. Uh, man, it's, it's, I'm having fun, y'all. Like, like I always tell people, and for people that can see it, I'm having fun. And when I'm having fun, it's always the best feeling in the world is when you're having fun. Like. If I wasn't having fun, I wouldn't be doing this. Like, just just know that. If I wasn't having fun, believe me, I wouldn't be out here doing what I'm doing. But I'm having fun. I'm having a lot of fun. This is this is great. I like the fact that I'm putting myself out here, letting people see my face, letting people see me. Like like I said, I always dance before before I do every podcast. I get ugh, I get my little little groove on. Uh, so. Last segment, I'm going to wrap it up with this one, is Sports Talks and Game of Thrones. We're going to start with Game of Thrones first. Like I said, Game of Thrones, the last episode, season 8, episode 6, was horrible. Uh, I was very disappointed. Uh, I, I Someone asked me yesterday to give it a, give my input on it. I said I give it a, out of a scale of 1 to 10, I give it a 4, 5. I'm sorry, I give it a 5. And the reason why is because it was just, you know, I already knew what was going on because I read the books. I'm a big nerd like that. But things when, like, John killed Khaleesi, he surrendered. They didn't show that. Like, no, he surrendered to the people, and that's how they caught him. They didn't show that. It was like, they, 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 this is, there was just staring us in the wrong direction. You could tell that the writers kind of was checked out, and they were trying to focus on doing a new Star Wars movie, focus on doing things things for them so they really didn't care about how us fans felt about the, the uh game of thrones season because like i said you dropped six episodes like come on bro like i get it y'all star wars is big that's big time I, I love star wars that's big time but to just shit on us like the way y'all did and just like give us some a minute one minute of 20 a, a minute an hour and 25 minutes of just crap like come on man it was like 
it wasn't a good look. I'm disappointed. The last two episodes, I was real disappointed. Like the best, the best one out of season six was the the first three episodes that I actually liked it. Like, you know, the other ones, I was like, what the fuck am I watching? Like, like I went from clapping every like, let's go, let's go, like mm, pumped up, yeah, let's go, you can do it, to being like. What the fuck am I watching? Like, what is going on here? Like, this is not like the book. This is, what is, like, so it's those type of things that just, that made me mad about the episode. So, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fan, so I'm gonna go back and rewatch all the episodes, because, like I said before in other podcasts and other times, like, I feel like I miss stuff because I watched it so much that I'm like, oh, I know this part. Like, I don't really gotta pay attention. But in that time, I'm missing, I'm missing, I'm missing Easter eggs. I'm missing things that I shouldn't, I should be paying attention to, to see. So that's what I'm, I'm going to go back through and watch it and have a clear mind and make sure I catch everything. Make sure I put the phone away, make sure I get me my snacks and I just sit and just watch it. And I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll figure out some things that I missed. Um, sports talk, uh, Blazers got swept. Wah, wah, wah. Sad day for the Pacific Northwest. Uh, I mean, Golden State, they were who we thought they were. Uh, They came out blazing. They got the job done without Kevin Durant. I thought when Kevin Durant went down that the Blazers was going to turn up and just win this series and, you know, go to the finals. I predicted the Blazers or the Bucks or the Raptors, but like like I said, they were who we thought they were, and Golden State is back in it. Holding it down for the for the Western Conference again without Kevin Durant, and uh, I was looking at stuff earlier that you know Kevin Durant might be a little bit bitter that they're winning without him. I mean, that's weird. Like, if your team's doing good without you, do you want your team to lose for you can get all the credit, or do you want them still to win? I'm gonna go with I want my team still to win with win win without me, with me or without me, because I still want that ring regardless because I got them there. It's not like you just injured the whole year. And you didn't help. You didn't get in and get get the smoke with them. You was out there getting all the smoke. So I'll be rooting for my team. But like I said, man, that's the thing about I, when people ask me, would I ever be a sport? No, I couldn't, because I wouldn't want to do that to them people. I wouldn't want to put those those guys in weird situations. I'm, I'm messing with their livelihood. I'm critiquing everything. I'm pinpointing everything they do wrong. Like, man, you did this wrong. You do like it makes them dudes angry. That's why them dudes be talking shit and be turning up and be going ham on these uh, these commentators and these people because they're giving their opinion but sometimes people's skin ain't thick like that and that's why I wouldn't do that because I don't want nobody to have a uh, dirty, dirty mic in the game come catch me after I did a live tape of first take or something like that and boys come out and put pumping, pumpkin hands on me black put the paws on me we ain't going you ain't going to go scrappy me uh, so I just stick to what I'm doing I, I'm I'm I give my opinion on how I feel. It's, it's still Team LeBron over everything. It's still Minnesota Timberwolves over everything. I like what I like. Will LeBron go? I go. Uh, that's just it. And um, the the Bucks and the Raptors. That game was popping last night. They're tied two two. Uh, this is a tough one. I don't know because anyway, I, the way I look at it, anyway, them teams go. They getting a butt whooped by Golden State. So it's, it don't matter who go. It, y'all both gonna get the, the the hand of God put on y'all by the. The light skinned brothers, uh, <laughs> Clay and Steph, they're gonna be green, green. They're gonna be sending a lot of three pointers out there on, on that ass. Um, what else I gotta touch on? Oh, my Minnesota Twins is the second uh, best team in baseball. I was hoping that the um, hoping that the Dodgers lose some games from, from we can we can take that number one spot, but the Dodgers is balling, you know. So I'm, I'm happy my Twins, my Mariners ain't doing too hot. Um, we gotta we. All we do is hit solo home runs, but we gotta start hitting some grand slams and stuff like that. I don't know, man. We gotta we gotta get it together over here. You feel what I'm saying? Like the Mariners gotta get it together. Cause I'm tired of uh seeing them just have bad seasons and oh come on man, like get it together or fire that manager or something. Uh like I said, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button. So whenever I put out the Michael versus Marvelous Podcast slash LOFM, you can be the first to get it. Uh, if you're returning to the channel, like the damn video, share the videos, tell your friends, tell your boyfriend, tell your girlfriend, tell everybody, tell your cousins, tell your family, come subscribe to the channel, come support the boy, because every podcast moving forward will be litty, and you get to see me, and you also get to hear me. And that's how I feel. I feel marvelous by the way, and I'm out.